Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times news headline updates for Tuesday, January the 21st. Pulaski Circuit Judge Tim Fox has held the city of Little Rock in contempt of court and ordered a fine of $10,000 a day until Little Rock Police Officer Charles Starks is provided his gun and badge. Fox overturned Starks' firing by Police Chief Keith Humphrey earlier in a hearing January the 2nd, ordering him reinstated. Humphrey fired Starks last May for violating police procedure by stepping in front of a moving car. Starks fired into the car, killing the driver, Bradley Blackshire, who Starks was trying to interrogate. Starks filed a motion last week in Fox's court stating he'd never received his gun, badge, or identification and asked the city be held in contempt. Well, Little Rock School District Superintendent Mike Poor told an audience at the Hall High Auditorium today that the new hall will offer special courses on computer applications, media arts, and health care. Veteran School District Instructor Joel Spencer will coordinate instruction at Hall. The State Board of Education has made Hall a STEAM magnet, meaning it will focus on science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It took that action to meet the demands of a federal civil rights lawsuit. The school will have no attendance zone and district officials are recruiting new students in middle schools. The deadline for enrollment is Tuesday, January the 28th, but the district may extend it. Well, in other news, the Senate opened its trial today to decide whether to impeach President Trump with a debate over the rules of procedure, a process that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said could take several hours. Earlier, senators persuaded McConnell to change his position on how many days arguments could take. He initially said he wanted to hold each side to two days to make 24 hours of arguments. He now says he'll allow three days. That means the American public will not have to stay up until dawn to hear from the lawyers for the House of Representatives to present the case for impeachment. McConnell is attempting to conduct the trial with little publicity by shutting out C-SPAN coverage in favor of one government-controlled camera and ordering journalists to be pinned behind a rope in an upstairs gallery. McConnell also had sought to require a vote by the Senate to allow the House's evidence to be presented, but changed the rule on that as well, allowing the evidence in automatically. Representative Adam Schiff is arguing today that the House ought to be allowed to subpoena witnesses. Well, that's all your news for today. As always, you could read more on the Arkansas blog. Thank you and see you tomorrow.